All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to change the color of interior panels. All right, guys, first things first, you're going to have to clean the panels. Simply as using a Scotch Bright pad with a dishwashing soap. Dry that out, and then what you're going to use is rubbing alcohol or some kind of adhesive remover and stuff like that to remove all that if you guys use armor all or anything like that get that done let it dry real good and we're ready for paint so the paint that i'm using is the sem here's the number 15013 good product right here this stuff is pretty much matching any oem color that you like so there's more variations of color as well so what we're gonna do now is spray one light coat which is pretty much your base coat doesn't have to cover everything, it's just enough to get it started. Just don't overdo it, it's just to pretty much get a base coat going. You're going to continue that on for the rest of the pieces. Alright, and that's what it's going to look like for your first layer. Also, I did forget to mention, if you do have any connection as far as, you know, buttons or uh, for the lights, cover that up with tape. Let that sit for 5 to 10 minutes and we'll be ready for a second coat. Alright, ready for the second coat. Now this coat you can apply a little bit more heavier. Do the same for the rest, let it dry for 10-15 minutes, and on to the last coat. Alright, we're on to our final coat. It's pretty much spot checking, or if not, just go ahead and throw one more layer on it and be done with it. Let it dry, and we're done. And there you have it, guys. Everything's painted, looking good. It actually still keeps its texture and all that. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera or not. Got everything going, good to go. And also got the headliner wrapped in suede. To match with everything else. So the only thing left to do is put everything back up. Pretty much reverse the process you did as far as taking it off. But we're not done just yet. And here it is guys, we will be installing the fiber octa lights and the headliner. So if you guys are not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. We are going to be doing this how-to video as well. So stay tuned. Until next time guys, see y'all later.